हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ला एक्सलेंस आई एस कलाम प्रोग्राम अ जी एस मेन्स आंसर राइटिंग इनिशिएटिव सीजन टू एपिसोड ट्वेंटी सेवन वी विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग दिस सीजन फॉर अबाउट फिफ्टी एपिसोड्स लेट इज लुक एट टूडेज क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन सेज एग्जामिन द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ टेली मेडिसिन इन कंटेनिंग द कोविड नाइन्टीन पैंडमिक द क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम जनरल स्टडीज पेपर थ्री from the topic of science and technology and from the sub topic of application of science and technology in daily lives and telemedicine if we look at the context in which this question is asked government has recently issued guidelines for practice of telemedicine what do you understand by telemedicine it is the exchange of medical information using information and communication technology tools okay exchange of medical information using ict tools so that the contact between doctor and patient can be reduced what was the need of telemedicine why is it being given so much importance in the current context you all are aware about the covid-19 pandemic how the number of cases are increasing in the situations of lockdown where people are not able to reach the hospitals people are not able to move out of their homes telemedicine is providing a good alternative for people to get treatment while sitting at their home okay other than this you all are aware that india is having a shortage of doctors even in normal situations and then by during the treatment of covid 19 some of the doctors after serving in the covid 19 wards for some time they will have to go under quarantine for 2 to 3 weeks during this quarantine period they will not be able to treat patients but by making use of telemedicine these doctors will be available for giving treatment to the patients one more thing is hospitals are acting as hot spots of transmission of covid-19 you all must be aware that hospitals are one of the most crowded places and they are acting as hot beds of transmission of covid-19 because of all these reasons telemedicine is evolving as good alternative for proper medical care amidst covid-19 so this is the context in which this question is being asked if we look at some of the value addition points that can be written in this answer any fact relating to the increase of covid-19 cases could be written also a fact relating to the number of doctors to population ratio okay we have a poor uh, doctor to population ratio any fact which is reflecting that could be written also if you all are aware around 70% of india's population is in the rural areas while only 30% of the doctors are available to serve in the rural areas so when rural areas are not getting served by doctors telemedicine offers a platform so as to serve these rural population okay so this fact you can write as a value addition other than this any case study about hospital transmission of covid 19 could also be written because we will be writing about overcrowding overcrowding in the hospital serving as a mode of transmission for covid 19 and we can mention any case study as a value addition point okay so these are some of the value addition points which you can write in your answer that is regarding increase in covid 19 cases doctor to population ratio or poor rural health resources or any case study relating to hospital transmission if we look at what is to be avoided in writing this question whenever we think about the telemedicine we tend to think about the guidelines which are issued by the government but is it important to write the guidelines in this answer no because the question is asking about the importance of telemedicine it is not asking the guidelines themselves the guidelines are necessary mainly for the healthcare professionals who are offering treatment our question demands how it will be useful in the context of covid-19 and so it is better to restrict ourselves to only the importance of telemedicine not going into the guidelines part let us now look at how to write this answer in the introduction body and conclusion format coming to introduction we have two keywords here 
one is telemedicine one is covid 19 pandemic so you can introduce either what is meant by telemedicine or what is the importance of covid 19 pandemic or what is the problem with covid 19 pandemic in either case because the question core of the question is asking about telemedicine i would suggest you have to write the definition of telemedicine somewhere even if you are starting with covid 19 pandemic coming to the body part i think it is convenient to divide this body into two parts first part being how telemedicine usually works that is how we can make use of various tools that are available to us that is video exchanging audio exchanging text messaging etc to exchange the information so that doctors could make the appropriate diagnosis and give the correct treatment okay how telemedicine works will be written in the first part and in the second part of the body you can write how telemedicine is going to be particularly useful in covid 19 pandemic where social distancing is the norm and where lockdowns are the norm okay so body could be written in two parts coming to the conclusion you can mention about the importance of telemedicine especially in the context of covid 19 how it decreases the contact between people during lockdowns and hence how it helps in reducing the severity of covid 19 pandemic in the community let us now look at a sample answer the person writes telemedicine means exchange of medical information through information and communication technology tools and consultation of health experts from a remote location so he has given a simple definition of telemedicine in the first paragraph what does he write further in view of lockdown to contain the spread of covid-19 telemedicine is being looked upon as a technological tool to address the health needs of the people without the need for movement so here he is trying to write the context in which telemedicine is being supported okay so he is given the definition of telemedicine and then he is trying to write the context why telemedicine is being supported and is give, give, being given a push what does he write further he is writing here how telemedicine works okay just as we discussed how telemedicine works he is writing here what is he writing using high quality videos conditions like fever cough shortness of breath can be evaluated so he is telling about videos how they will be useful and then he writes digital stethoscopes can transmit lung and heart sounds to arrive at an eff efficient diagnosis you all are aware that doctors and medical health professionals make use of stethoscope to identify some of the basic diseases with respect to lung and heart diseases okay so when they cannot directly reach the patients with their stethoscopes there are digital stethoscopes which can transmit these sounds to arrive at efficient diagnosis by the healthcare professionals then he writes it helps in providing medical services to remote inaccessible areas so some areas may be inaccessible in times of disasters or even the rural people are usually not having so many doctors even in such scenario telemedicine is helpful so if you see he has written about the definition of telemedicine the context in which telemedicine is being supported and then he has written how telemedicine routinely works let us see what he writes further here if you see he is writing advantages of telemedicine okay no crowding in hospitals hospitals being one of the most risky areas for transmission of covid-19 there will be no crowding in hospitals and then both healthcare professionals and patients can stay quarantined while consultation goes on yes we have discussed this point this point also we have discussed it cuts down the use of masks gowns and gloves yes this is a very important point especially we have been seeing news reports saying that doctors are not having enough personal protective equipment in such cases when consultations are being done through the medium of ict technologies masks gowns and gloves can be cut down 
okay so he is writing advantages of telemedicine he should have written it as advantages of telemedicine in covid 19 okay because we are talking about the context of covid 19 he should have written so what does he write further he is writing about the risks with telemedicine what are the risks with telemedicine sharing of sensitive medical information involves a cyber security risk yes there is a risk of cyber security threat the medical information is sensitive to the patient okay it cannot be transmitted as and how we like okay it involves cyber security risk and that is why government has also come up with guidelines which require the identity of both the treating practitioner as well as the identity of the patient to be known to each other and also it requires a consent okay consent is needed as well as identity of both the practitioner as well as the patient has to be known so these are some of the guidelines which are needed so as to prevent this cyber security risk and other risks associated what is the second risk which he is talking about any miscommunication or misinterpretation due to poor quality of ict services could be potentially disastrous yes for example if i am a doctor sitting at hyderabad and listening to the heart sounds of a patient who is in a rural area if a murmur present in the patient's heart sounds is not audible to me properly or if i mistake that murmur to be something else something insignificant a potentially dangerous consequence could be missed out so misinterpretation could be there miscommunication especially where ict technology has not yet evolved into a higher generation such disastrous consequences can occur okay so these are the risks with telemedicine which we have not discussed he has included in this answer let us see what he writes further he is writing india has a doctor to patient ratio of 1 in 1400 so we discuss this as a value addition point and he is writing it here here he writes further with the rise of number of cases demand for professionals is only going to increase with proper precautions in place telemedicine offers a promise to make use of quarantined professionals we discussed this point also and decreasing the spread of disease okay he also is mentioning with proper precautions in place why is he writing this point because he, here he has written some of the risks of telemedicines so he has written here that with proper precautions in place it offers a promise to make use of quarantined professionals and decrease the spread of the disease i think this is a decent enough conclusion writing the importance of telemedicine he has given a value addition point also here if we look at the entire answer he has given a decent introduction defining and writing the context in which telemedicine is being supported then he wrote about how telemedicine works then he wrote the advantages and then he wrote some of the risks with telemedicine and he has represented the answers represented the subparts in a simple format understandable easily legible format let us all come to the end of our discussion before ending today's task for the day is the usage of technology to solve the health issues okay usage of technology in solving the health issues or health problems in india make a short note of it around 250 words so that it will be useful for your mains okay let us all meet again on monday have a safe sunday at home stay home stay safe see you on monday thank you